Welcome to our second video, Integrating NCA Necessity Logic with PLS SEM Sufficiency Logic. When applying PLS SEM, we explicitly or implicitly refer to an additive sufficiency logic. We would interpret the PLS SEM findings using expressions such as x increases y or a higher x leads to a higher y. We are emphasizing on the should have factors why a determinant, for example, uh, an enjoyment, may be sufficient to produce the outcome, for example, the use of technology, it may not be necessary. The absence of enjoyment could be compensated by other determinants, for example, um, a positive evaluation of the technology's usefulness. By contrast, when applying NCA, we are using necessity logic. Necessity logic implies that an outcome or a certain level of an outcome can only be achieved if the necessary cost is in place or is at a certain level. For instance, an information system can only contribute to success in an organization if it is used. Researchers who refer to this logic use expressions such as x is needed for y, x is a precondition for y, or y requires x. The emphasis here is on the must-have factors. Why do we want to integrate these two logics? Well, because PLS-SEM is the correct approach to identify the determinants that can increase an outcome. And NCA is a good method to identify the conditions or the level of specific conditions that a certain outcome or a specific level of an outcome demands. So the should have factors can only increase an outcome after the must have factors have been taken care of. If necessary conditions are ignored or neglected in a field where we theoretically assume they exist, then our findings and our recommendations will probably be incomplete. The joint application of PLS, SEM, and NCA has the potential to advance theory development and help with the generation of actionable implications for both researchers and business practitioners. Here, we can show you an example. This is in a structural model, and we, we can see that there are a lot of well-established theories for sufficiency logic. For example, the theoretical framework behind the emotional value is the theory of consumption value. The ease of use, usefulness, has technology acceptance model. And then these three, we have innovation diffusion theory. What about the necessity logic? As we mentioned in the previous video, there aren't a lot of theories, well-established theories that are already talking about necessity logic. But there are some necessity-like arguments. For example, here, the usefulness and compatibility. Com compatibility may represent a necessary but insufficient condition for technology acceptance. And usefulness is a prerequisite for technology acceptance. Now, let's think about it. What would you conclude if we found a non-significant relationship in a structural model for an antecedent construct? You may conclude that it is not relevant for the outcome. But for example, in this illustrative example, the authors found that the ease of use is not a significant should-have factor for the technology adoption. What should we conclude? Should we say that ease of use is not important and then, then we should not care about it at all? But the author found that the use of use is a necessary condition, is a must-have factors. So without it, the adoption intention will not happen. While the increase of ease of use may not inc increase the technology use, we need to have a certain level of ease of use in order for the adoption intention to, to happen. So the implication for the practitioners could be that they need to have a minimum level of investment in the ease of use, because if they do not guarantee the minimum level of this, this will not happen. But they do not have to increase, they, they do not have to invest too much on the ease of use, because after the minimum level of ease of use is guaranteed, if you continue invest on it, it will just be a waste of money because the increase of ease of use will not increase adoption intention. So you see, this is the beauty of combining PLS, SEM, and NCA. It will provide you with additional insights, which is really meaningful for both researchers and practitioners. 
Okay, now it's probably time to have some practice in P Smart PLS. But before hands-on software, let's take some time and to go through some key functions and parameters that will probably be useful to you.